If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on, guys? I'm here. Welcome back to a brand new, shorter player review, but with the same information, just a little bit less waffle. We're going to talk about Ortiz. Yes, he's 30,000 coins. Why am I reviewing this guy? He's one of those cards that I think could very well be slept on. Plus, he's another one of those cards that I, I, I like this type of player, right? So he's reasonably well-rounded. He can do a little bit of everything. Not the easiest to fit into a team, but that's okay because he's a very high-rated, high-statted, cheap player. And that's the, the key word I'm going for. I'm going back to my roots, essentially, and I'm reviewing players who are, quote-unquote, cheap. And those of you who don't have that many coins or maybe just fancy trying something a little bit different to your boring high-end cards that everybody strives for, maybe this guy is as good as a high-end card, but no one gives him the time of day. So that's what we're going to try and find out with this review. So three-star skills, two-star weak foot, not ideal really. That should be, not should be, but ideally it would be the other way around. Obviously a four-star weak foot would be insanely good, but a three-star is the bare minimum that we really ask for, unfortunately. We don't even have that. Left-footed, uh, high defensive work rate, which is nice. Uh, he is 5'10 with a stocky body type. Now, normally, stocky body types don't really do it for me. I'm uh, more, more of a lean guy myself. But as a CDM, with 98 agility, by the way, and 92 balance, I can get on board with a stocky body type because he doesn't have the height. He now has stocky body type, reasonable strength at 86. You can boost that, of course. And then with the agility and the, the balance mixed in, you kind of get away with it. He's not going to feel like a Kante style agility. He's not going to have that freedom of movement, unfortunately, and he doesn't. Uh, it's just one of those cards that he... I tell you what, right? There's a combination of two players here. Uh, Medell. Remember Medell? Used to, I think he used to be in the game. He's not in the game anymore. He definitely used to be in the game. Obviously, he had a Halloween card a couple of years ago. He played for Cardiff once upon a time, then moved to Italy. Anyway, it's a mix between him... And Arturo Vidal. Both of those together is this guy. That, honestly, is it's like a... There's flashes of both of them in there. Vidal can do a little bit of everything. So can Ortiz. Medell was very, very strong. Wasn't the tallest of players. Just a strong, robust player. And that's exactly what Ortiz is. If you're on a budget, or maybe you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit cheaper, just to go a little bit away from the the mainstream, all, all those cards that people that come out that people go for. If you want to be a little bit different, it's not going to be easy to fit into a team, but that's kind of the beauty of it really, because no one's going to be using him. He's actually pretty good. He's not the best CDM I've ever used, and would I go out of my way to say, look, he's definitely worth a pickup here, regardless of whether you like using obscure players or not. Yes, he's definitely worth a pickup. No, he's not. He's not really in that category of you have to try him because he's not amazing, but he is good at what he does. He's strong. And if you give him the right chem style, he can be even stronger. His defensive capabilities are good enough. He's not very good in the air, but we don't care about that. His passing, so long as it's on his stronger left foot. Very, very good. He's not the slowest. His agility definitely helps him. He's not agile, but the high agility helps him, if that makes sense, because he has that stocky body type and he doesn't have amazing acceleration. I, I do like him. I'm not a big fan of him or anything, and I don't, like I said, I wouldn't recommend you go out and spend 30k on him right now because you absolutely have to try him. It's not that type of player, but if you're looking to build a team around these team of the group stage cards, maybe you've got Tevez and, I don't know, you're trying to link in a few of the other cards here or there. Maybe you've got a few team of the seasons that kind of link into this sort of a team. I would recommend him in that sense because I think to get the chemistry to some other players, he's going to be useful. He's actually pretty good. But if you're just looking to experiment, yeah, a card that you, you could pick up, have a lot of fun with, and he does a job. That's, that's basically it. In a nutshell, he does a job. That's going to do it. Uh, short and sweet reviews. I'm going to, like I said, go back to these. I, I, I mentioned it in the other uh, player review that I did yesterday uh, for Diaz, uh, for, the, for, the, for the knockoff Barcelona player. Um, I, I will look at Borgia. Really looking forward to using him, actually. Might use Lopez, the centre-back. He looks quite nice. And I might go out of my way to, to try out, uh, is it Bo, the, the Argentine striker? He looks pretty damn tasty and then of course there's a new promo on friday which we'll cover in 6 p.m content 
and we'll go over those cards and how that works. But if you have enjoyed this play review, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, goodbye.